Hey guys, what is up? Before we get rolling on today's video, I'm gonna call a band meeting. Okay, band meeting. If you haven't already, you need to hit the subscribe and like button. According to my most recent analytics, 90.1% of the people who watch my channel are not subscribed. 90.1? Everybody betrayed me. I fed up with this world. All I ask is that if you do enjoy the channel and want to continue to see more and more content like this, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. If, on the other hand, you are watching, but you don't like the channel. Stop being weird. I just like to watch you guys. If you have been watching my channel for a while now, you will know of two key benefits of subscribing. First and most importantly, your single stroke roll speed will increase by 10 BPM overnight. Allegedly. Individual results may vary. Testimonials are not claimed to represent typical results. Secondly, as you should all know by now, if you subscribe, Van Damme dances. It's all right. Hit the like button. He's soloing on his air guitar. Thanks for the support. Let's hit it. Hey, hey, what is up YouTube? Andrew Rooney here, and I'm back with some more Kaihato, this time with Winter Sun. Now, my previous Kaihato video, which a lot of people really dug and, you know, got a lot of views. That one was with Wish, hold on. Yeah, that one was with Night Wish. I don't know why I'm getting these. I didn't even realize that it was two separate bands. I think I'm getting confused. Winter Sun, Sons of Winter and stars that that whole thing was getting confused in my head and then nightwish okay nightwish is a different band but yeah the previous video video i did was kai hato nightwish live drum cam wishmaster so now we're gonna get to the video that i think overwhelmingly people were requesting and suggesting that i check out and was sort of indicating that the previous video ah, that's that's easy for this guy that's that's not pushing him at all Guys, thank you so much for the support. I'm really happy to have been introduced to a new incredible drummer. And look, I'm sure with the flood of messages I got about this particular song, I'm sure it's going to be something special. So hey, headphones, coffee, hey, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and let's check it out. It's like some kind of drum clinic, perhaps? tell this guy's got some authority some serious authority in his hand and his technique just with the way he's you know ugh, throwing the sticks around getting some like celtic vibes as well i know these bands can be quite symphonic um and yeah it's just quite impressive just the the range and the how many sort of genres and influences these bands uh call upon Celery set of hi hats. Wow. Look, this is a long song, 13 minutes. I'm not sure if this is two songs in a clinic or whatever, 
but there's no way he's going to be able to keep that up for 13 minutes, surely. These guys in these extreme genres, the amount of endurance and speed they have is... Olympics are on at the moment and uh, it kind of reminds me of that sort of Olympic style of drumming where it's just like this ultra endurance speed thing. It's just superhuman. I think we've got, um, and riding like that on a on a China symbol at that speed as well. Crazy. Got his own little mixer down there. I really dig in this kind of stuff. The melodic choices that these people make, these drummers make, um, they manage to, despite the sort of machine gun approach of, you know, they'll get into this real fast sort of blast, but then they'll start orchestrating it around the kit. Really like that stuff. I'm just going to back that up a bit. Yeah, singles, but orchestrating it into a melody around the kit. Placement. This guy is lean. Him laughing. <laughs> Just laughed about it. <laughs> oh, that was nothing. This guy is able to play this like this. Live. Wow. Accuracy is out of control.
Okay. I'm getting a little bit of that Gurgo Borlai vibe where I'm just... I'm just... It's, it's kind of hard to believe that a human being <laughs> can do this and recreate this life. Look, I'm going to be really honest. It's a pretty unforgiving recording. I don't know if this is just someone in the crowd on their phone. Probably is. Look, this looks like a drum clinic, right? Where are we here? Okay, Extreme Drummers Universe 2014. Imagine the work and effort and lifetime dedicated to drumming and music that got you to this level. And then being that much of a Zen warrior that you can play this in front of a room of other drummers and just (laughs) smiling and casually, you know, adjusting the volume, just so everything's right. Dudes running around behind you and onto the side of you filming you and taking photos. You've got to really be really in the zone and have a lot of headroom to be able to cope with all that extra stuff. This is so different to laying this down in a studio. You've got to really have this under the thumb. This is not disappointing at all. This is, yeah, this is more crazy than I expected it to be. Is this their magnum opus? Is this, you know, this is, you feel like this is Kai's big moment where he showcases every single trick in the book. got one an air come out dangling around just ch- just changing like that. Right hand lead, left hand lead. Come on now. What a monster. Crazy. Woo! Crazy. Oh, okay. This is two songs. Excuse my ignorance. Is this a different song? The title here, we've got Sons of Winter and Stars drum drum playthrough. We had a clear break there. Is this a different song or what is the song in two parts? Let me know. Come on, getting a bit sleepy there on the camera. Seems like such a nice guy too. You can tell, you can tell. Before we get back into this part here, you can tell this guy's a practicer. You can tell he, you know, he's had sticks in his hand, uh, sticks in his hands a lot. You can just tell my feeling and impression is Kai Hato is a really nice guy. A lot of these extreme guys, you know, they have that sort of scary persona and I've started to find out that they're just very in fact, very warm and humble. They're always humble. And he seems to me like a practicer. That's the vibe I'm getting. He is an obsessive practicer, hard work, 
disciplined kind of kind of player. <laughs> Really cool ideas there. Constantly changing. Thanks. Crazy facility. Really tricky timing on these parts too. Viking, isn't it? This music. Got that swivel going on the left foot. Crazy intensity for this long. Hato, what an absolute weapon. Man, I am... I'm pretty stunned after that. You know, it really takes me back. I did a podcast episode with Adam Tuminaro, the Orlando drummer. I don't know if you know him. A fantastic drummer and teacher online. 
and he was talking about um, I don't know how we got onto it. I'd have to go back and listen to the full episode, but he sort of brought up the idea and his idea that one thing in drumming is useless without the others. Now, I don't want to misquote him, but he was kind of indicating like speed on its own, useless. Um, musicality you know, on its own is actually useless. If you've got no facility or your ability to actually execute on the musicality, um, independence uh, on its own is useless. You know, if you don't have the musicality or p- perhaps the speed. Now, this idea, I, I think of a guy like Kai Hato, and he has so clearly worked incredibly, impossibly hard on his craft where he's got all of these elements, he's got the musicality, he's got the independence, and he's got the speed. Because I think Adam nailed it when he was talking about that whole concept, and I totally agree with him. You know, on the surface, you could look at this and go, wow, he's really fast. Yeah, he is fast, but it's how he's using it. And, you know, he was just in the middle of, like, these ridiculously fast blast beats he's changing the surface that he's riding on just all over the place and within that creating a melody or a you know uh, accent pattern in between the symbols and then he'll just you know pick out certain notes of a subdivision and create a polyrhythm or a short pocket of you know a modulation uh, just hinting at it and then you know back to the groove you can tell like he looks so relaxed as well so he's got a lot of headroom and this is sort of Although it looks superhuman to me, it looks like it's well in his control. And it is just, yeah. Your pick. You guys suggested that I see this one and it did not disappoint. This is, yeah, this is crazy, superhuman level drumming. And um, I'm just really happy to have discovered Kai Hato. Guys, if you dug the video, please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and do the same on the original video link, which is in the description of this video. Until next time, ciao.